You're listening to episode one of A Cup of Joe and Nintendo. Have you had a chance to play anything this week, or what are you doing? Yeah, man, dude, I got a whole bunch for Christmas, man. Yeah, I got a stuff, right? I got a bunch. Yeah, like I got it actually, like just in my backpack here, Bobby. I got actual chain. I got me some okay. Marvel Ultimate Alliance because you wouldn't lend it to me when we were when we uh, were you know, there I with each other. I thought you took it. I really did. I thought you did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this, this really? SOB, he took it from me. I no, did. I should have. I should have. I told people that I was going to just uh, just ransack your place. <laughs> like, Because I left. Remember, I left and you were at work. I was still at work. Like, I, yeah. Dude, I could have. That was You really trusted me with that. Well, because we were using your Switch, right? I think. Mm-hmm. Or my Switch. Uh, I'm just saying, like, I you forget. trusted me in being yeah. in your house oh, all like by you. myself. What are you going to do? I could have I ghosted. You could have come back to nothing. You could have come back home you and all your lights are gone. I should have stolen your lights. You would have had a problem. I definitely should have stolen your lights, man. I can't actually... want to get me. That's not the way you want to get me to come to Canada. I'm telling you right now. But that's um, actually not a bad way to do it. If, if that's what it takes, Bobby, I'll do. I'm kind of desperate at this point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so what? But I'm playing Marvel's Ultimate Alliance three. So I played a bunch of it with my brother, uh, with both my brothers actually, and yeah, um, yeah. dude, I, I, same as when I played it with you. Like, I love it. Yeah. It's, I mean, like it's. The camera is all sorts of whacked up. Yeah, like but I think barely that game, even works. I think that game really excels in co-op mode. Dude, it's just it's um, it barely even has to try. Like it, it yeah. essentially just has to run. Yeah. And in, and I think people have a decent enough time with it because it's like we had so much delight. Like as the characters just kind of popped up and like my brother had no idea what he was getting into. Like my older brother just like he he plays a little bit of Xbox and that's it. So it was like Spider Man pops up. He's like, wait a minute, can we play Spider Man? I'm like, yeah. And he's like. Wait a minute, can we play as Wolverine? I'm like, yeah. yeah you play and Wolverine. then, like, watching well, not him, all of them, like, but a good portion of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, as a, and we got, like, a good ways into the game together, too. Like, it was, it was pretty sweet. We, we started getting, like, hooked by the, uh, the leveling up, and, like, there's these trials that you can go into. I don't know if you played much more of it, but, like, you can get into these trials and just sort of, like, grind away and mm-hmm. upgrade your characters. You can just start to see them become more and more powerful, dude. Like, it's, yeah. it was a good, it's a good time. I just need, um, I don't know if you can play it online. I don't know if you can play that game like multiplayer online or anything like that. Because I um, think there's some people who want to grind it out with me. You know what I'm saying? Well, of course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, grind it out with people online. I don't... See, for me, I played that day we played. And I haven't... Because I just don't know how it is as a one-player game. That's what I'm worried about. So, and I have no interest to play it by myself. Mm-hmm. Because I did enjoy playing it in a co-op fashion. Right. And the story is like nothing to be, like, to go after. No. Like, you're not there for the story or no, anything. not at all. Not at all. Yeah. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows really what it is, essentially. Mm-hmm. But, um, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. For, I'm stoked about it, man. I've been uh, I've been playing a little... I've been playing a few things. Um, I've been playing... Some ro- I've been playing Rocket League like crazy, dude. Yeah, dude. Like crazy. I bought the Rocket Pass yesterday. Yes! What what point in the season? Like, did it just start a season it or whatever? It just started. It just started. Oh, like, I'm in. I am so yesterday in. Yesterday or whatever. Yeah. Like, the, the third, I think it started. It, it yeah. goes from, like, the third or the fourth until, like, a couple months from now or whatever. It's but, not cross-progression, though, right? Like, it's, it's your Switch Battle Pass or whatever? Mm, Rocket Pass? I think it's just it's cross-progression. I think I you wonder buy if it, it and that's it. Like, you buy Dang, the pass, because you're buying the pass under your, uh, I mean, I bought it under Switch, so I don't know. I buy it yeah, under your, it's, it's like your, your as, Epic thing or whatever. It's the same as, like, uh, Fortnite, Fortnite, where you buy it mm-hmm. and it's there. Um, but, like, it also gives you a bunch of challenges to do, which was like, this is pretty dope, you know? like What kind of challenges? Like, uh, say, great shot in ten different matches. Oh, no way. Yeah, or like, you know, say I need a boost in 10 matches or I love uh, it. take 50 shots in, yeah. in different games, like through progression of games. So it keeps track. And then as you do it, you move up experience points. And then it's just like Fortnite. You know, oh Fortnite, when you accomplish different tasks, it gives you experience points attached to that. And, and yeah. then you, you know, so I, I'm liking the Rocket Pass, man. I think it's really, really it's got me coming back. So how much was it? Was it like ten bucks or something 10 like that? Bucks. Yeah, ten bucks, and it's yeah. like, and, and it's Gosh. you know the thing is though too is like you play, you just it, it's so it's crazy because I remember I've been playing, watching you, man. You're posting stuff. It well, looks because good. I'm like actually because I'm actually scoring goals. I wasn't you're playing well. I was never playing well at all before. Mm-hmm. Like couldn't score, couldn't do anything, and now it's got me to the point where it's like. 
huh kind of yes kinda, i told you oh dude this is so that, satisfying so i love it's pretty, it it's pretty cool man it's, it's i love it I, i'm not i don't think i'm ready for because I, I they have like a ranked play yeah as well. yeah and i'm not ready i'm not even close to ready for that but i think tomorrow night monday i'm gonna stream uh i'm gonna mm-hmm. play rocket league and stream and like you let people come and play and all that stuff i think it's a really good good game for the community um thanks man i love it star wars pinball dude yeah? Oh, really? Oh, my God, On the Switch? Yeah, dude. It's really good. Uh, how much is that? <laughs> like, I, I, picked it up for, I picked it up for 20 bucks at, at Walmart. They had oh, on clearance. They had on that clearance. It seems like for, a lot, doesn't it? It seems like a lot for a pinball game, well, but I know the, those games dude, are like... it was 40 bucks. It was 40 yeah, bucks originally, so I got it for 20. Um, but there's so much <laughs> I literally it, just turned my Switch on. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to it, dude. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. um, like you have a career mode. Where, like, that same thing challenges. Like, you have five minutes. Like, unlimited balls, five minutes, you have to score X amount of points. I love it. And then, like, or it'll do, like, you got to score as many points as you can on three balls. Or yeah. Or two balls. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like, craziness, man. All the balls. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's fun. It's different. It's fun. I didn't know you liked pinball. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about playing pinball. Yeah. I mean, I, I used to play Zen pinball a lot on uh, on the Wii U. Oh, dude, so yes. This was, this was like, yeah, I got to pick this up and go. Man, the, the Wi-Fi in this place is just no good, Bobby. Like, I'm uh, just, it's taking me a little while to, to find it. Uh, Star Wars Pinball, thirty seven seventy nine. Yeah, so I got it for 20 bucks. And, uh, good deal, yeah, man. Holy wasn't cow. Bad. wasn't bad. Ah, um, that'd be perfect. I think the, 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 the other thing I've played is my time in Portilla. I, I mentioned this the other day to you. And, yeah. Um, I, dude, I just, I think it's called, actually called my time in Portia. Yeah, but I don't. For some reason, I call it Portilla. When the, the first yeah, time. It's, it sounds a little fancier like that. Yeah, you know, you know. But Portilla. dude, it's, it's a. It reminds me now. Now that I know what Animal Crossing is, it reminds me a lot of Animal Crossing, where there's a lot of crafting, and such. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering, which has me a little bit nervous for Animal Crossing now because I'm in parts of of this my time in Portilla where it's like it's tough to find items in mm-hmm. order to build what you need to build and i'm like man is animal crossing gonna stumble upon like like stumble with this yeah like i was talking to uh to adam leonard the other day because we were talking about uh, he's a big animal crossing fan too so we we're talking yeah. about it and he was like man the crafting aspect has me really scared Cause really not, yeah because he's like i'm not big into crafting yeah and and he's like, and I'm not really either. You know what I mean? Like, I enjoy playing a little bit. But, like, when I play Minecraft, I'm not crafting a lot of stuff. Well, what about the difference between, like, Minecraft and, like, Dragon Quest Builders or something like that? Like, because it seemed like Dragon Quest Builders was at least, like, kind of tied into yeah, something. But I don't builders, know if I'm looking for a yeah, story out of And if it's more like that, then I'm okay with it. But still, yeah. even that, like, there's times where you stumble and you're like, I got to go find this thing. And I don't mm-hmm. know where it is. I don't even know where to begin to look for it. So yeah, I could quit a game right for that reason. Yeah, and that's my yeah. biggest fear. Is, but I said to Adam, I said, my hopes are that in the early goings, it's it's simple, like crafting type stuff, like an axe and all that. But then eventually, you get to the point where maybe you you build nooks, cranny, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you go in and you can buy items mm-hmm. rather than crafting them, and then it will give you the option to like, hey, you can craft or you can buy. You know, yeah. depending on what you want. Like, if you want an item quicker, go craft it. If you want to get it as it shows up in the store, well, then you got to wait for it. You, you know, know what, though? Like, Animal Crossing, I'm just thinking about, like, the pacing and the way, like, you, you approach Animal Crossing is so much on, like, it's on your terms. Yeah. Right? Like, because I, so I, I wonder if, like, the crafting is going to be, like, if you want to do it, great. There's a progression. And you can you can go about that. And if you want to ignore it, like, I don't know. I don't know if we've really heard much more than, like, well, we is, heard. is it integral as part of like, part of the experience, I don't Crazy know, man. Things we haven't heard anything about Animal Crossing. Does that scare you a little bit? A little bit, you know, because here's yeah. the thing, and, and you know, like they just had that trailer come out. They had the trailer and... come out, which showed us nothing at all. <laughs> um, it's like the top comment on on YouTube was like, "This is this is just as good as showing nothing." It, it, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, it, but I think it's a commercial. It was a, it, it's a commercial that they're going to put on yeah. television. Yeah, it's a spot to show sure. people that it's coming. Um, mm-hmm. But the thing of it is, is like, and because I don't know if you heard about this this week, that um, there was t- twelve mysterious games posted to a GameStop data bank. Did uh, see that? Which, which yes. basically has trickled into people going like, "When's the next Nintendo Direct?" 
Mm -hmm. Which then, for me, goes, okay, maybe we'll see more Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Animal Crossing kind of needs its own Nintendo Direct. Like, yeah, I don't for know sure. that it needs, especially this particular game, I feel like they need to do their own. Because I, I don't know if you remember when um, when they did the update to the to New Leaf. Mm -hmm. um, and they did the Amiibo. They had yep. the Ami Welcome Amiibo and all that stuff. And they, they did that. And, like, that had its own weird, quirky direct. Yeah. Like, it was real strange. <laughs> it was so good, though. But, I mean, what do you think of, like, you heard, you heard about the, the GameStop stuff. Like, what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Like, do you think we're going to get a direct? Or? I definitely, oh, definitely, definitely think we're going to get I was talking to, um... I was talking to Donnie Reese about this as well. I was asking him about it, and they were chatting about it on um, on Nintendo Shack. Mm -hmm. And he actually, I think um, he put a bet down on uh, January 23rd, I think he said, something like that, 21st or 23rd or something. And apparently, like, that's a date that just, like, happens a lot. Like, it's it's three weeks into January, apparently, which I love now. Like, we've been doing directs long enough, right, that we can kind of look back and go, historically speaking, this is kind of what I think. But well, we know, have to. I also know that they typically do it the second week because – there's two times they've done it on my birthday. Mm -hmm. it's See, that's the best 11th. thing is like there's enough. It's so, it, there's enough data now. But like, also, if you remember last year, last year was the best. They didn't do one in January. Oh, I know, and everybody was calling. Everybody for it. was calling for it and predicting mm -hmm. it and swearing mm -hmm. it was coming, it was going to happen, and then they just didn't even put it out. I know, it was I know. A, I feel that like they did it on best. purpose. That was kind of that was kind of fun. Wouldn't it be? Oh man, I would just love it if they, uh, you know, if we if we ran Nintendo Bobby, we could just like mess with people so so big so much. Pretty much, pretty much. But the other thing pretty too good. is like I don't know if you saw this too. Like um, uh, Emily Rogers, she mm -hmm. came out and said that there's two uh, Wii U games that were yeah. unannounced that are going to come to the Switch. Yeah, two, and, two Wii U ports. Now, I mean, what do you do? What can, what do you? If you had your choice of like what, <laughs> what two games would you want from the Wii U? I mean, we've got a bunch of them already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's almost there's almost nothing really. So, so I, I think people are calling for like the Zelda ports. So I don't know if like that's really what I'm looking for. Is like the port of the port, like yeah. the HD port, like Twilight Princess and yeah. uh, um, Wind Waker. But like you know, Pat was saying Star Fox, which I think uh, would just be like the biggest troll. Yeah. But, like, they don't really do... I was thinking about... I'm back and forth on uh, Super Mario 3D World. Because we don't really see a whole lot of remasters in, in the way of Mario. But at the same time, we just got the the side-scrolling um, Wii U Mario game. Yeah. Like, New Super Mario Brothers U. Like, we just got that one on Switch. So maybe... Maybe. Maybe this is, like, well, a new era. The other thing she said, too, that I, I saw in a tweet that she did... Because um, the funny thing is her, her tweets are protected. Unless right. she follows you. Yeah. She follows me. Yeah, so, same. So I'm able to see what she tweets and stuff. Mm -hmm. And one thing she did say that I think might have been like a, a clue that a lot of people I think just totally missed was she's like, I've seen a lot of people calling Super Mario World uh, Super Mario Cats. And that's just what I'm going to call it from now on. And I feel mm -hmm. like the fact that she mentioned that game in particular yep. leans to the fact of like maybe that's a definite one that's coming the other one that I, game is great man people don't people don't remember like that game is that game, absolutely I amazing I love i've beaten everything you can beat on that game except the very 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 last level yeah, that's, but i've gotten every like stamp every yeah. whatever every like every collectible i think Dude. i think that might have been why it perhaps took uh, why it took longer than people expected they might have been pulling stamps out of it because there's no i hope not stamps. i love that no yeah, way to, oh I, yeah but still but is like an achievement need, at least it was an achievement but they, i don't think they need stamps or they might be changing it to be something different maybe it's like maybe. a moon piece or something like who I knows miss stamps miss stamps were so great dude stamps were cool they were all right mm -hmm. I mean, they were, they good were perfect they, when they were no, they weren't perfect stop it. they were perfect when the mario kart for nintendo trash. the mario kart 8 ones were trash Okay. I mean, like the ones in 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 3D <laughs> World, yeah, they were cool. They were pretty cool. I love them. Like yeah. when they just crammed them in, they weren't mm -hmm. good. they weren't good at all. I guess well, it's kind of ignore like, them. I kind I guess it was kind of like I, I remember a lot of us thought that it was going to be like Nintendo's achievement system. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And, it just and I was like, happen. honestly, if that's all we got was uh, something you could use. I mean, they could still they could still have it sort of like pushed into like Mario Maker or something like that or some something in the OS you could have have those stamps but I don't know man um, I, mean, I, I don't know I, I think yeah I mean it could it definitely could you know but it also makes me wonder because like I, 
this this I saw this article today yesterday or whatever a couple days ago. It blew me away because I just I don't agree with any of this. Uh, mm. it's, it's you know this guy on GamesIndustry.biz. Uh, he's an analyst who said he, he he predicted the name Switch Lite. He predicted the Switch Lite, but he also okay. predicted a Switch Pro last year, but that didn't happen. Um, mm-hmm. But he says yeah, the two SKUs, remember? Yeah, he, yeah, but we did get two SKUs. He just got wrong with the Pro, and right. he's saying that there's absolutely no doubt that we'll get like a Switch Pro this year. Yeah, uh, that it'll have it'll be a 4K Switch Pro. Mm-hmm. Um, it's coming in 2020, so it'll have 4K support beefed up hardware, uh, bigger carts, and it'll cost about three ninety nine, dollars and it'll, it'll also come out alongside of a system-selling game. Yeah. And I feel like that's, I mean, that's, that's easy to throw that those words out, um, but I just don't feel like that's I don't buy Nintendo it. does. I don't like, buy it at all, man. Yeah. The whole, like, even just the whole, like, 4K thing, like, I'm just thinking about, like, like the, the PlayStation... The PS4 Pro doesn't do real 4K. Yeah. So, like, maybe they're talking about something like that where it's, yeah. like, whatever cross-stitch or whatever the technology is called yeah. <laughs> to do 4K over there. Maybe, but, like, I don't know. Like, it's still a tablet. Like, the thing is barely bigger than your cell phone. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I don't... I don't did they... I think it's going to be an interesting year whether or not they do it or, do, or they don't do it yeah. because of the new systems coming out. But I, I don't know, man. I don't... I, I tweeted out this week that I said I felt like... We're not getting a pro. I feel it's like got to be a stay at home. It can't be a tablet in that case. It's got to be a console. No, I don't believe. It. Well, I don't. I don't agree with that. But I mean, you could be surprised with what Nvidia is able to do. Um, but I think that I think the answer for a Nintendo is don't do anything. Yeah. Don't do a knee jerk reaction to answer what they've been so successful with this generation. And and people are going to probably be upset with me saying this, but. The fact of the matter is, and listen, I'm, me saying it, I get a little upset because I want a Switch Pro. But I feel mm-hmm. like the answer is, is they've been leading this generation. Like mm-hmm. they've been, they've been coming out. Unlike the Wii U, the Wii U they were ahead of the PS4 and the Xbox One, but they just lagged behind. They didn't march to the beat of their own drum. This one, it feels like now PlayStation and Xbox are playing catch up to what they're trying to do, and they're just leading. They're just getting out in front of everything and just dropping bombs on people and i feel like the answer is don't do anything yeah continue with the games that you're putting out we're not going to have any fear of third parties truly leaving for a year or two Mm -hmm. and then in two years time what i would do is i would introduce switch 2.0 brand new switch um and it's backwards compatible, so you don't have people getting upset. They're like, hey, I bought all these games. I can't play them no more. No, 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 no. You can. You're not being left behind. And then at that point, you go, okay, here it is. Here we go. Then you mm-hmm. can introduce a more powerful console, and nobody gets upset. Because the thing of it is, is if they do a Switch Pro, which is what this guy's basically calling, it's an iteration you run into the same problem that you have with the, a regular Switch right now. Third parties can't develop for those. And if you do a Switch Pro, we saw this with the 3DS when they did a new 3DS. You get people upset when you're when you're locking games behind tech. And it's like, well, here's a new one, and you can play all your old games, but it's not a two, it's not an upgrade, but you can't you can, you know, you like you have to own this one to play certain games. Right. It muddies up the waters, it confuses people. And I feel like it's easier for them just to come out like this is Switch 2.0 and this is a true upgrade to the console. You're not going to be able to play certain games on the original Switch. You have to upgrade to this one in order to do it. Because I don't feel like you and I need that messaging. But I feel like mom and pop that just bought their kid a Switch at Christmas, they need to understand that like you can't go buy these games and there's going to, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, yeah. To, yeah well, explain. I think the best way to, for Nintendo to compete is on cost at this point. Like, this is the thing, man. I think Sony and Xbox are going to, they're going to price themselves out so crazy. Yeah. And Nintendo's just going to be sitting back laughing. Like, well, our system's two ninety nine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> take your pick, man. Yeah. Because most people can't even see the difference between like 1080p and 4K, anyways. Like a lot of people, like trust yeah. me, a lot of people can't. I'd love to do like a little like side by side test yeah. with some people. They really can't. So like, whatever, man. I, it'll be interesting. And, and I, 
the thing about Nintendo, you probably get this as well, like all the time, is like it seems like there are certain things that that present themselves as as sure things, right? Like that we're gonna get a Mario game at some point. We're gonna get a Zelda. Like when people go like predict the year, and it's like, oh, we'll probably get a like maybe we'll get F Zero. Like we basically like run through like a known set of quantities, yeah. right? And so for like uh, somebody to predict like what's the future of the consoles, like well, more tech is the prediction. Like it doesn't take any brains to do that, so I don't know. Really, I don't know, man. But you just put on something like industry biz, not or gaming biz, not whatever. And it, I mean, we've been hearing that forever. Yeah. So eventually, it's like my dad predicting, like when he watches CSI, he's like, "Oh, this is happening." He, pr- <laughs> he puts like six hundred <laughs> predictions, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I told you." Yeah, I told yeah, you exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Well, um, actually, speaking of my dad, um, he could probably use a little bit of brain training. I think. Oh boy. But, Probably, maybe, I think he might be going to Europe at some point. I've, I've been hearing maybe. some people a little upset about this. And I, here's it, you know, Sean, I'm... I I'm pissed. Know, Are you really? I'm not pissed, no. I, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, is that the Switch is... I'd love to play it. The, 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 you can play it. The Switch is not region locked. We can play these games. Oh, so I gotta create my, uh, my I, Sean I was Capri. on yesterday. I almost yeah. bought it. I literally almost bought it. How come you didn't? I just was like, I don't want to spend the money. I want the pen though. I want, I want the physical version. I want that. I want oh, the you stylus. Can buy, or you can import the physical version. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing. Like a I was lot. saying to. Uh, I, I got was, kids, Bobby. Stop, stop it! <laughs> I was saying to Tim Olf yesterday because yeah. he was him and Marty were tweeting. Like they were upset, and I was just like, guys, it is region free. Like you realize this? Like, I think a lot of people forget that it's region free, and. They were like, I know, I know. but And then Tim was just like, well, it's too too cumbersome, too hard. First off, if you're a Nintendo dad, you should already have a second account. Set. Snap. Seriously. Uh, and the it's reason why I say that is because of review codes. Because review codes. I don't, mm-hmm. when I when people offer me review codes, I go, I'll take whatever you can give me. Yeah. Whatever region you can give me, I'll take it. Yeah. So if it's easier for them to give me a European one, give me a European one. No problem. Mm-hmm. So I feel like those guys should already have it. People should already have a Japanese one as well because, listen, if you don't have a Japanese account set up, you're missing some of the best Nintendo versions of the games you love. Like, play uh, the Nintendo Online games in the Japanese Uh, version, and it's the Famicom disc, and the music Mm -hmm. is so much better on all the games. Not Mm -hmm. all the games, but a good portion of them. They're, They're the disc versions. Zelda sounds better. Metroid sounds better. Like, go play those versions. Don't play the the NES versions. So I feel like... So for me, that's why I have all three. Do you need, like, a different email for each account? Yeah, you do. You have to set, you have to set up accounts for each one. If you go... Uh, Joe After Work has a perfect tutorial on how to set up... Yeah, does he? It, it's, it's so easy, dude. It's so simple. Um, you know, but it's it's really easy to, to set up the account. It's a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. So you set up the account, done. But then, like, you can either buy straight through the eShop, um, mm-hmm. or you can go to like Amazon UK or whatever, get it, buy an eShop code, and just buy it yeah. digitally and get the thing and done. Like, I just think it's. I don't like, think if it's you as really difficult want as people. It. I think people get a little nervous with the unknown. But as, but yeah. as far as brain age, like, I man, it it makes sense that they would put this out. I like, know, right? It's been forever. As soon as I- I saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely between this and like Ring Fit, like we're kind of getting like all the stuff like yeah. from from all those like giant like blue ocean strategy uh, initiatives kind of coming to switch all at the same time here. Definitely. And I love it, man. I think we're gonna get a Ring Fit pretty quick here. I just oh, I'm I just one. did a I just did a weigh in. I gained another four pounds in a week, dude. Like I don't, it's off the charts, man. I lost like, four, so that's good. You found. Oh, I might have taken it from you yeah, yeah, exactly. somehow. Just good for you, man. Did you really? You yeah. look good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm getting there. Really good. I'm getting there. I'm getting back to fighter weight. I got to train my gut. I got to train my my brain a little bit, dude. That that'll be the thing about brain training though is like um like I'll I'll, I'll stop playing games to do to make sure that I do that. Like to I get know. get my dailies in over there. Right? Right? I love that. Holy cow. I can't believe we haven't seen it in so long. It's been a while, man. Well, mm-hmm. because I think you think about it, like well, yeah, I'm surprised it was on the Wii U. Exactly. It was on the Wii, right? That's what I mean. It like, it, Wii, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. They had one on the Wii for sure. Yeah. I think yeah, maybe that, they I, just kind of got away from that a little bit, just because they were like, mm, a lot of people don't like our quality of life initiative. Let's back away from it a little bit. Mm. Because, well, the Wii U, it was like it's one of those things. It's we talked about this before, man. When Nintendo sells consoles, we get the weird stuff. Mm-hmm. We get <laughs> we get the 
we get the we get the Nintendo to try <laughs> things. Yeah. And that's what I love. I honestly mm-hmm. love that. Like, think about it. If the Super Nintendo didn't sell, you wouldn't yeah. have gotten Mario. Mario Paint. Paint. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that game came out of nowhere. You yeah. wouldn't have gotten Super Mario All-Stars. You know, like, it's when they sell a lot of consoles that they get weird and quirky and try things. Yeah, like, Super which, Scope. Yeah, which, which honestly excites me for the fact of, like, man, we can see another Punch-Out. We can see maybe a new Kid Icarus. Mm-hmm. Like, because... They go deep into the reservoir and start pulling out all these things and go like, let's try this and let's try this. And mm-hmm. so I love it, especially with the fact of like we talked about it back in the NX days was they, you oh, know, man. they're basically pulling two initiatives. They're, they're eliminating the two team system. Yeah, you're not splitting across handheld and, and console. So it gives That's them the exactly opportunity it. to go like, hey, guys, you go do something different over here. Mm-hmm. You guys keep working on Zelda. You guys go over there, do this thing. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty awesome. It's a good time to be a, a Nintendo fan, man. Um, did you see that um the guy the guys returning to retro the the main guy um Stephen Dupree, Not lead that. designer of Donkey Kong Country. No, I didn't he's going see back that. to he's going back to retro. Really? And now everybody's wondering like what the hell is he doing? I didn't realize that he had left a couple years ago, um to go work on Super Lucky's Tale. Okay. I didn't I didn't know that. So no. now he's back at retro. Now everybody's wondering, like, okay, so how far out is like it's retro on Metroid now, right? Like that's a, like we retro know that, or is that retro that's official? Metroid. It's not like a rumor or anything. No, it's not a rumor. It's not a rumor. So okay, did I, I don't this know. must mean that it's far out though? Did I ever? <clears throat> I, I mean, I know I've always teased it a lot of times. Yeah. Did I ever explain the retro situation to li- literally out there? I don't think I did. I don't think so. I don't think so. I so, think you. Yeah, you definitely alluded to it. So, I have friends, th- 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 you know, through the gaming Humble industry bag. right mm-hmm. and and a friend of mine um i don't want to give his name because i don't want to upset the apple cart so to speak but he is friends with a, he were he is friends with one of the x game uh developers mm-hmm. at retro yeah. and that guy quit retro studios and then reached out to this to my friend and was just like hey you know, just feeling out the industry, seeing what's mm-hmm. out there because I'm, I'm looking for something and just seeing what's out there. But this is just kind of the casual talk. Let's just meet for coffee and have coffee. Yeah. And essentially what, what the explanation to my friend was, was that um, they were so discombobulated after Tropical Freeze. Yeah. Rare, Rare Retro wanted to do something fresh and new they didn't want to do a nintendo ip and mm-hmm. what happened was was they always had someone in nintendo japan that fought for them and yeah. got them all the work on stuff so when they got done donkey kong tropical freeze that particular person that fought for them they left they mm-hmm. left nintendo japan so when someone comes to, to retro and goes okay we're getting ready to do something next for you this is what we're looking at working on Retro turns around and goes, we don't want to do that. We don't work on something by ourselves. So the Nintendo took a little taken aback. Nintendo Japan, a little taken aback. and was like, okay, next week, come pitch us. And if you have something good, we'll give it, you know, we'll let you do it. They flubbed it so bad. They flubbed mm-hmm. the pitch so bad that Nintendo essentially just put them on the docks and were just like, you sit there and when we have something for you, we'll come back to you. Mm-hmm. So the entire time that people swarping down that they were working on this Star Fox racing racing game, yeah, nothing. <laughs> they're yeah. working on nothing. Yeah, and all maybe those, that was the that's that the thing died. I kept saying to people. If you remember, I kept saying like they're not working on anything, and people mm-hmm. were like, "There's no way they got it." And I'm te- and I was like, "I'm telling you, they're not working on anything," and they weren't. And yeah. then what happened was uh, they 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 got back in Nintendo's good graces with the Tropical Freeze edition. They went back to go work on like uh, the the Funky Kong stuff and they put them back in to go to work on that and then when that got done, they actually put the bug out to the Metroid developers like, hey we would love to help on Metroid if we can. Mm-hmm. And then that's how the whole ball of wax opened up again and that's why they were brought in you know, a year. How many years has it been since that, though? Like, how many has it been? Two years now since we knew that Retro is on Metroid, or has it only no, been, been a year? It's been a year. 
It's only been a year. Is this yeah. time last? Because wasn't that when, like, speaking of the 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 direct that didn't happen, yeah. I feel like that's kind of what got pushed. I think that was sort of around that same time frame. Possibly, yeah. Then I made it. They made a bit of a change. So that game is that game's a ways out, man. Yeah. But maybe Metroid, like a like a trilogy or something, like a remake, there Possibly. is one of those skews from could Gamespot. Be. Could be, but. Yeah, it, it, I can well, definitely see that. Yeah, because if you remember, I remember last year, or towards the end of uh, last year, um, maybe, it was, maybe it was like, oh, it was just before E3, just before E3, I did a Nintendo Guru Daily, where I had had information given to me mm -hmm. um, from two different friends. Two different friends came to me. And actually, I'm sorry, oh, one friend yeah, yeah, yeah. came to me yep. and was like, hey, man, I got information. I don't know what to do with it. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, I got two SKUs from Best Buy. Mm -hmm. One is for um, uh, Metro Prime Trilogy. And the yep. other one is for uh, A Link to the Past HD. And I was like, you got to be kidding me, right? So then I took those and went to another friend in the business. And I was like, hey, I've heard about this. Have you heard anything about it? He's like, oh, my God, dude, I just heard about it. Yeah. He goes, I got a friend that works at Best Buy. They're checking the SKUs. The SKUs are coming up legit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my but God. But nothing ever happened with that. But nothing though. ever happened. So I wonder if this year is where maybe they didn't want to announce it because it was going to come out in 2020. And that's what because you know that Nintendo, what they always say, like when they do E3, it's for that year. It's yeah. not for. So, I mean, it could be something that comes like the big bang at the end of uh the direct like end the of the, one more yeah. thing you know end of the for the end of this fiscal kind of thing like before march kind of thing Possibly. i mean i wonder you have to <laughs> i i i'd love to know like what happens in the dark depths of uh of best buy like and like even like the walmart canada and all the leaks and everything that happens around like e3 right because like there are gamers everywhere there's yeah. people who love this stuff and there's trolls everywhere yeah. so you got to wonder like even with this gamestop thing like who's <clears throat> who's messing with people it's very possible. Somebody could be just like coding things in there and just like just and because like I said before, like there's just so many things that you can go through like known quantities and like people would eat it up. They go like that makes sense. Well, I mean, it's probably think real. About it, like, wasn't that what happened with Witcher three? And nobody yeah. believed it at first, right? It was like, and they they took it so long. Yeah. That like people were like, wait a minute, is it real? Is it happening? It's hard. It's hard to discern. Like what's going to be real and what's going to like what do you bite on and what do you go? Nah, I don't think so, man. I don't know. It's, it's pretty. It's crazy, crazy right? It's, it's nuts. The mm. other thing, the other thing that, that I I just thought of that I wanted to talk to you about um, that that hit me was a couple weeks ago, right at the Games Awards. They talked to Reggie, and Reggie's like, "Hey, man, I think that uh, you know, cloud gaming is coming soon. Like, it's it's the future. Like the streaming, like yeah. the Stadia thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then this week, um, Nintendo president Furukawa he says that he thinks cloud gaming is a long way off. Yeah, he's not wrong. So it's like, but it's 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 weird because you hear Reggie say one thing, right? And you go, this is a guy that's kind of in the know. It's kind of, you know, but here's Nintendo basically saying, like, it's a way off. Yeah. So it's like, yes, cloud gaming is the future. It's coming soon. Um, I think it's within the next 10 years, possibly, mm -hmm. like before they, they still have to work some kinks out. But it's just typical Nintendo that it's just like, that's eh, a long way off. And it's like, yeah. well, what's a long way off to you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's their weird wording of how they do stuff and all that crazy stuff. Well, Reggie also said no VR, man. But uh, so who knows? Maybe he was just trumpeting the like the, the, the company thing. But it's possible. It's, it's possible. I, I, think it is a, I think it is a long ways off. I think if um, it, it's going to be like this this off to the side, this accessory, this ancillary, this additional way yeah. to, to play games. But like from Nintendo's perspective, they're like, I mean, we just sold more than I just saw this article. They, they've now sold more than um, Super Nintendo's lifetime. It's like they're 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 crushing these milestones, right? As as the time goes on, they're just like, okay, buy obviously like Wii U and now it's Super Nintendo and everything else. It, obviously, um, sixty four and everything's gone too. So, so it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But um, but that's so I, Outlands. That's good. Outlands. What would you say? From that lens. Oh, from good. that. I was just oh, trying from, to wrap it up. I thought you said Outlands. Anyway. Listen, yeah, I was gonna game, say game. I gotta. I'm done for today. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta meet my mom. So 
What? What do you mean? I want to talk to you about games that are coming out in January, man. But that's fine. We'll we talk can, about it next. We'll we we next week. We got we got time. We'll you know we'll do this again next week. All right, that sounds good. Okay. I'm all caffeinated, man. I'm all jittery now. That, that's right. It's the good stuff. What, what yeah, are you man, drinking? I like it. What are you drinking? What kind Just of a. <laughs> it's weird that they sell at this place, but it's like a Costco, <laughs> Costco Kirkland's brand uh, coffee and Splenda, really? man. I yeah, I've got this. I bring my own mug. There's this new initiative a lot of coffee shops are doing where you bring your own mug. They're trying to get rid of. Have you seen this? They're get, trying to get rid of the um, like the disposable coffee cups. Apparently, a lot of them aren't even recyclable because of like really? the wax in them or whatever. They're a lot like because otherwise it's just a paper cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, whatever keeps the coffee from like seeping out, like yeah, it makes it not I recyclable. I don't think anything's recyclable anymore, Bobby. Yeah, I don't think. Just throw either. everything. Just burn everything. Just burn it all. Burn the world. Just burn it all. Burn it all down. All right, man. Well, all right, man. I'll see you later. I'll catch you next time. All right, bye. Thank you for listening to A Cup of Joe and Nintendo, a production of the You, Me, and Capri Patreon. If you like the show, you can support them at patreon.com, you, me, Capri. A Cup of Joe and Nintendo is available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and all of your other podcast services. Be sure to follow Bobby and Nintendo Gurus on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. For everything that Sean does on the internet, follow him on Twitter, at Sean Capri. Sean like Connery, Capri like the pants. Also, twitch.tv Sean Capri.